again. Are you a YouTube streamer? Well, I have good news for you. There is now an extension that allows you to have YouTube channel points. Let's get it downloaded and started up for your stream on YouTube in under 10 minutes. Follow this tutorial and let's go. All right, first thing you do is you go to this website. And then of course you click streamers. All right, then you go to setup guide. Then it takes you to the GitHub. Congratulations, you're on step two. And from step two, you need to download StreamerBot. So you click the link to StreamerBot. Then you click the link that says version 1.22. Then you download StreamerBot. And then you wait. And then you wait. And then you wait. And then you wait some more. And then you wait some more. And then once it finishes downloading, then you open it back up. Create a new folder somewhere safe. Call it StreamerBot. Go to your downloads. Extract all the documents into that folder that we just downloaded. Go ahead and launch the application. It is pretty safe. You can go ahead and hit run anyway. Once StreamerBot is open, go ahead and head over to Platforms tab, go to the YouTube tab, and then you're going to see hit I agree. Then you're going to go over to account, and then you're going to sign into your account. You can sign in with your username and or you can sign in to sign in with Google. I prefer to sign in with Google. And go back to the GitHub that you were on. Click the download link in the release page. Scroll down to the bottom. You're going to click the Gazelle YTCR bot. You're going to then going to download this one file right here. Open up streamer bot. You're already signed to the channel. Go ahead and click the three lines. You're going to click import. Take that file you just downloaded and drag and drop it into the import string. You're going to make sure all these are checked. You're going to click import. Head over to the actions. Next thing you want to do is you're going to set channel rewards. You're going to come over here. You're going to double click set global YouTube channel ID to change me. You're going to you're going to delete change me and then you're going to paste your YouTube channel ID to find your YouTube channel ID. You're then going to go to your YouTube channel. You're going to click your picture in the top right. You're going to go down and you're going to go to settings Then you're going to go to advanced settings. Then you're going to copy the channel ID. Once you copy the channel ID, go back into the streamer button. Then you're going to paste the channel ID into streamer button. You're going to click OK. You're all set in this position. Everything else is pretty much good to go. Once you've added your YouTube channel ID, go ahead and head over to server and clients. You're going to head into the WebSocket clients tab. You're going to right click. You're going to hit add. Then you're going to pop up with the add WebSocket client. The name you're going to type in Gazelles YTCR. For the endpoint, you're just going to copy this endpoint that's back on the same GitHub as we've been working with, and you're going to paste it on this endpoint. You're going to make sure auto connect on startup is checked. Reconnect on disconnect is checked. TLS 1.0, TLS 1.1 and TLS 1.2 are all three checked. Retry interval to five seconds. Under actions for connected, you're going to set channel rewards. So go back down to set channel rewards, select leave disconnected blank and for message you're going to hit message you're going to execute channel reward redeems hit okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click and you're going to hit connect it'll more than likely give you a status error go ahead and right click edit and ensure all three of these are rechecked hit okay and then right click and hit connect again and it should be open then you're going to head back to the main site that you're on. Once you're here, you're going to go back to streamers. You're going to download the Chrome extension. It's going to take you to the Chrome website. Then you're going to add to Chrome. Final step is going to get you to add panel points. Now back to the very first site we were at. Once again, you're going to hit the top right. You're going to hit login. You're going to click authorize. And it'll take you to your page. You're going to head over to rewards. You're going to click add new reward you're going to name the reward for this we'll name it hey listen the cost of the redeem we're going to set it to five for the folder name if we want it under subfolders within the actual extension for this we'll name it sounds change the color let's change it to yellow and then hit save. So now 
this redeem on the extension on your live stream will send a redeem message in your chat that says this user has redeemed hey listen next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into the streamer bot you're going to add you're going to name whatever channel point you want to do so for the purpose of this video we're going to do a sound effect so let's do hey listen sfx in the group i'm just going to name it sound sfx gonna hit okay and then under sub actions i'm going to right click four sounds play sound then i'm gonna search for the sound in the sound library that i have already chosen that i'm gonna use let's test it to make sure it works hey listen it sure does hit okay so now the action has been made within StreamerBot, but now we got to link it to our YouTube channel rewards. So right click the uh, SFX sound, then you're going to click copy action ID. Action ID, remember how I told you to right click and copy that one action ID? You're going to right click, paste that into the action ID, and click save. And congratulations, you just added your first channel redeem to your website. So just to clarify, if you only want the channel redeems to send a message to chat you do not need to add an action id however if you want sound effects videos or any other things to play on your stream you will need to add an action id via the streamer bot by right clicking and clicking copy action id and then adding it into the extension so if you've done everything correctly then when you start a live stream, whether it be private, unlisted, or public, you should then get this little channel point icon. You click the icon, your redeems and folders that you've created will now appear. So if you remember, we put the sound effect in our sounds folder, and there it is, our Hey Listen. If we click it, we'll click Redeem. and it plays a sound effect. If you didn't link the action ID to the redeem, it would just send a chat message in chat saying this user redeemed the name of the message. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. If you wanna test out the channel points, catch one of my live streams. If you wanna keep in touch, join my Discord. And if you need any tech support or get to know other creators that have the channel points, consider joining the extensions discord channel all of which will be in the link in the description below